Hey guys and welcome to Slasher X Game. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can zoom the camera. It's pretty cool. And I thought the best example of this is to take our helicopter mechanics tutorial. If you haven't seen that, check the link in the description as well as on the screen now. And I'm going to add zooming to it. So we have our helicopter he's flying around and if we want to pan around the area a little bit more we can zoom out. So it's pretty cool. So here we've got that uh, tutorial up. We've just got our sprite heli and the object. Object heli which is over here. So we're going to add some variable cell create and we're going to do some step action and then we're going to have the mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down. Now you could put the code that I'm showing you in the actual mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down events. So when you scroll the mouse wheel down, we're going to be zooming in. If we scroll it up, we're going to be zooming out. You could put these in those actual events, but then the whole zooming is going to look very jagged and I don't really like things to look jagged. So what I'm going to be doing is the mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down events are going to be controlling um, the type of zoom. And then I'm going to have a variable that's going to be sort of my zoom per step kind of thing. And it's going to say, okay, we're zooming now. This is the zoom per step. Per step. Increase or decrease the zoom by this factor every step. And then it's going to look very smooth and it's going to gradually get to where it needs to go. And you're going to see how fantastic it's going to look. So let's jump into the create of Object Kelly. that. Some space here. So we're going to create some zooming variables. For example, we're going to have a base width. This is going to be the, the width of our view. Um, this is, yeah. So here we can have view, w, view, there we go. And it's going to be zero. So we only have one view. Then we get our base height equals view it's going to be hView, 0, whoops, 0, cool. Then we're going to have our zoom level, 100. This is as it stands, game starts, there's no zooming. So we can have that at 100. This is the same as having no zoom at all. Then our zoom type on start is going to be none. So now we're going to have three variables that actually do all the work. We're going to have a zoom per step. That's the amount of zoom units we want to accomplish per step. That's going to be set to zero. This we can do on the mouse wheel up and down event. We can set that. Then we've got our zoom decrease. This is going to be controlling the smoothness of uh, the change in zoom. Then we've got our zoom factor. Set that to one. And you'll see how that is used later on. Then we've got our max zoom and our min zoom. Max zoom is going to be 80. That's as far as we can zoom in. And our min zoom is 180. That's as far as we can zoom out. I'm actually going to call this zoom change. Oh, that's a better word because it's an increase or a decrease. Cool. So that wraps up all the variables that we need to create. And then we're going to have add event, mouse, Mouse wheel up. Let's drag in some code. Zoom type is going to be out. And then our zoom per step is going to be equal to 1. Okay. Then add event mouse wheel down code. Zoom type equals in and zoom per step equals 1. Now you could have the zoom per step in your create but that limits your zoom in and zoom out to the same thing. In this case you can have that zooming out is twice as fast as zooming in or something. That's what you can do with uh, with this. Okay. So now let's take a look at our step. We've already got code in here to handle the flight of the helicopter and the way it lands and such. So below here let's do our camera stuff. So I'm just going to create some temporary variables that will be used to calculate the center of the view. So here we go. We got view center x and view center y and it basically is view x view and then 0 plus view w view 0 divided by 2. That's our center. Now I'm going to copy this 
paste it, change x to y and w to h. Cool, so that's our center, it'll always be there. We should also say var this and that. Cool, we don't need to store these, it changes all the time. Then I'm going to switch on our view type. Oops, zoom types. Cool thing is we can switch on strings. So our case is going to be in. Don't forget our colon. And then the other case is going to be break. And we're not going to do anything if our zoom type is none. So here we say zoom level equals min zoom level plus our zoom factor times by our zoom per step and min zoom. There we go. And then here I'm going to copy this. This is for zoom out. Paste it, change min to max and change plus to minus. Change min zoom. Why is it zoom? Min zoom to max. Cool. So zoom level equals min of the zoom level plus the zoom factor times zoom per step and min zoom. And it's the exact opposite for max. Very cool. So that's all we need to have in the switch. Now we can actually say, well, zoom the view now. Now that we've calculated everything. So view w view zero equals our base width times to buy our zoom level divided by one hundred. Let's copy that, paste it here. This is going to be h also zero. This is going to be our base height. Then we're going to reset the center of our view so let's steal some code. Let's take this. And that's going to be y. And that's going to equal the view center x minus uh, this one, 2. And that's going to be our view center y minus h. Okay, I'll put our 0 here. Also divided by 2. Very cool, so we've reset our view. Oops. And now we're going to handle the uh, the gradual sort of zoom approach. So we're going to take our zoom per step and we're going to minus the zoom decrease from that every step. So if zoom uh, per step is greater than zero, zoom per step minus equals our zoom change else our zoom per step oh sorry our zoom type actually equals none cool alright so let's go through this for a second here we're grabbing some here we're creating some temporary variables that only are alive in the step event and basically all they do is store the center of the camera and then depending on our zoom type that's what we're doing we're calculating the level of the zoom over there whether it's a min or max of some variables then we're actually doing the zooming over here and once the zooming has been done we are resetting our center of the view and we are decreasing our zoom per step so that affects these calculations up here Oh, cool, 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 cool. So that pretty much wraps up that. It's really simple. We say, okay, okay. Do make sure that you have your view set up. Everything's all good. And we can actually change this because I've got Make this HD. And I'll leave that for Cool, cool, cool. And it'll grab these variables over here. There. Base width and our base height. Cool stuff. So let's check this out. So here we are in the game. If I zoom in, 
Cool. It zooms in. If I zoom out, it zooms out. Right, let's play the game. Cool. There we are. Flying around. We're zooming. We're zooming out. Things are working quite well. So, hope you found this tutorial educational and helpful. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you like this video as well as many of my other videos, uh, check out my Patreon campaign. I really do appreciate your support. You can download the project file for this tutorial right in the description. You can also follow me on various social media platforms. You've got your Facebook and your Twitter and your Instagram and Google+, Plus, things like that. Links are all in the description. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time for another great gaming tutorial.